Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the main event of Dana White Contender Series, the last fight of Dana White Contender Series of 2023, guys. This is going to be sadly the last fight on the card and the last fight of the year of Dana White Contender Series. Let's get right into it, guys. We have Ramon Tavares taking on uh, Cortavius Rom Romius. Um, let's get into it, guys. So this is uh, Ramon's second chance on Dana White Contender Series. His first opportunity didn't go well too, didn't go too well for him. He got a knockdown in the first round, and then the referee stepped in too early, and Dana White wasn't happy with the stoppage. And I agree, it was a very early stoppage from the referee. I don't know why the referee stopped this so early, because the Torres was still trying to get his wits back about him, and he wasn't out. He wasn't out cold or anything like that. That was definitely a premature stoppage there. But uh, anyways, guys. So let's talk about uh, Ramon Torres is uh, 29 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall with the uh, 70 inch reach guys. He trains at a bulldog boxing gym. His opponent Cortivius Romanius. Romanius is 7-1 uh, in his career on a 3-5 inch streak right now and he's 29 years old also. These guys are both the same age, almost the same uh, couple of days apart. And he's five foot four inches tall, so he's not the tallest guy for the weight class, but he makes up for it with the width. I mean, this dude is freaking thick as hell. Uh, his frame is freaking huge. He's built like a Joaquin Buckley, if you ask me. I mean, he's, he's got a 67 inch reach, guys. Uh, he's got a three. He's at a three inch reach disadvantage here, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I think he's gonna be going for those takedowns. Cortivius Ramirez has very explosive takedowns. Good, good ground and ground game. He has good uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on the ground. He can go for a variety of submissions also if he's not able to get the ground and pound. He, uh, Tavares seems chinny and he, I mean Tavares is getting dropped in every fight. I mean he got dropped by like a can and his uh, reasonals. He got knocked out by like a James. I mean this dude who's like an absolute can. I mean I don't think his chin is there man. If he gets cracked from uh, Cotivius I think it's going to be over for him. Yeah this dude fucking... Who's got who's like nine seven overall, and been finished most of his losses. I mean, this dude's knocking you out. It's just not a good look, man. And then he got dropped by Sir D Sir He Side. He was a pretty good prospect, Canadian prospect. But uh, I mean, that was early stoppage for sure. I had uh, I think I had Side there. I think I picked that or Montoars as an underdog, but then I ended up switching my pick. But yeah, man, this is uh, I'm gonna I'm, I wanted to pick Torres here because I really want to see him get a contract, but I can't pick with my emotions. Uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna go with the uh, Cortibius guys. Cortibius has very good takedowns. He's a very explosive guy, man. Built like a freaking absolute truck. Uh, let's go over the uh, fight notes that I have on uh, Cortibius. So um, I don't think uh, Torres is gonna be able to keep the fight standing. Even in the stand-up fight, I mean, Romavius has way more power, guys. Dude loves to throw 1-2 and then follow it up with a head kick. I mean, if he lands a head kick, I think Torres is going to go out cold pretty brutally. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to be picking uh, Romavius by KO, TKO in the first round. I think he's going to drop him and maybe ground, uh, hammer him with the ground and pound. Might be able to lock in the submission also, so it's not out of, out of question that he might be able to lock in the submission. But if he gets a takedown, it's going to be over for Torres, I think, pretty quick. Because uh, Torres does, doesn't have much off his back. And also, Torres doesn't throw any leg kicks or anything at all. Um, he only, he's only, only a boxer and doesn't have a ground game either. So we're going to go Cortivius uh, Romilius by KO TKO in the first round. Let's go over all our picks again. We have uh, in the main event, we're going to Cortivius Romilius. By KOTKO in the first round, then we have in the co main Andre Lima by KOTKO. Then we have uh, in the next card, we have Jair Farias by I'm gonna say maybe Decision. I mean, this fight could go to Decision, but Farias has good knockout power. I did pick him by knockout. Let me see my picks, guys. Did I pick him by knockout? I think so, right? We'll go over all our picks again just to make sure. Um, so in the main event, we're gonna go with the Cortivius. By Kyo Tiko in the first round. In the Coleman, we're gonna go uh, Lima by Kyo Tiko in the second round. 
Next, we're gonna go with the dry fries by uh, maybe uh, uh, this isn't because he might be able to outland because Connor Matthew is a very tough dude, man. Connor Matthew needs to get a submission in this fight to win this fight. He's not gonna land more damage than uh, Jair here. He's gonna get his back and choke him out. So uh, it's gonna be hard to choke out a uh, Farias, in my opinion. He's gonna be much bigger than him. More power on the feet, better striker. We're gonna go with the Farias. In the next fight, we're gonna go with the Taurus Finney by uh, KO TKO. It might be even a decision. I mean, it could be a decision, but I think it's gonna be a ground and pound. Uh, in the next fight, we're gonna go with the under underdog Marcos Moderas by decision. And in the first fight, we're gonna go with Davy Bincourt Costa by submission in the second round. Okay, guys, these are the picks. Once again. Let me know what you guys think. I'll make another post way in prediction. Maybe, maybe. I've done a lot of content. I'm pretty tired. Um, I might just take a break for a day or two. Let me know what you guys think. I will be going live. I will be going live for these. Uh, I will be doing a live fight companion for the Dana White Contender Series tomorrow. So please come and hang out with me. It's always fun hanging out with you guys watching some fights together. Alright guys, that's it for my picks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe guys. Thank you so much. Let's go. Cool.